dear students today i'll be giving you a lecture on maharaja ranjit singh maharaja ranjit singh a person who created a six state in punjab i'm talking about that maharaja whom people used to call sarkar i'm talking about that maharaja who was a secular who used to have this prime minister a muslim faqir azizuddin who used to have his journals like the prominent journals like dogras even French General Godard was in his court. He was born in 1780 at Gujranpur in West Punjab, Pakistan. His grandfather's name was Chhatrapat Singh, who founded the Shukr Chakya Mas. His father's name was Mahan Singh, and his father died in 1799 he was just 19 years old when he became the misaldar he was helped by one lady sada kaur who was his mother in law great lady played very important role in bringing up maharaja ranjit singh in the same year jammun shah the grandson of ahmed shah abdali attacked lahore ranjit singh united some sikh nobles including the misaldars of the angi misal he saved lahore and in 1800 he became the master of lahore in 1802 ranjit singh annexed the annexed the amritsar from the angians so slowly and slowly he started annexing the territories of punjab it was in 1804 1805 some misaldars of the area of beyond the river satluj they started fighting with each other one group approached maharaja ranjit singh and the other group approached the pictures maharaja ranjit singh crossed the river satluj and annexed some areas of but the prickshas were determined to keep ranjit singh away from the territory of this area beyond the river satluj that is why they sent charles metcalf which ultimately led to the treaty of amritsar 1809 so in 1809 the treaty of amritsar was signed by which river satluj was made the boundary line between the six and the rikshas ranjit singh never crossed the river satluj and even the rikshas never crossed the river satluj they respect the sovereignty of each other then maharaja ranjit singh started annexing the other areas like dera gazi khan dera ismail khan multan sind peshawar one of his general hari singh nalwa annexed the kabul kandahar and still people remembers hari singh nalwa in afghanistan then maharaja ranjit singh also next kashmir 
इस संसार चंद कटोच ऑफ द कांगड़ा प्रेजेंट हिमाचल प्रदेश एक्सेप्टेड द सोवरेनिटी ऑफ भारत और वेरी गुड रिलेशंस विद महाराजा रणजीत सो महाराजा रणजीत सिंह कन्वर्टेड द स्मॉल मिसल इनटू अ ह्यूज एम्पायर he had two captains amritsar as a spiritual capital and lahore as a political capital he was a secular person during his time when prince of persia prince shuja took a asylum and after that he gave lot of gifts to maharaja ranjit and one of them was famous kohinoor diamond which maharaja ranjit singh built up the huge empire which includes the modern days parts of afghanistan pakistan entire kashmir himachal pradesh sindh multan so huge empire he built everyone was happy during his empire that is why people used to call him sarkar maharaja ranjit singh had a army of all the sections of the society with the modern weapons and it was fully equipped with the modern techniques also that's why i have told you one of his general was general godard a french general. Maharaja Ranjit Singh in last days he had a some ailment and Maharaja Ranjit Singh died at the age of 59 but still he is called Sheri Punjab the lion of Punjab In actual sense, he was the loin of Punjab and laid the foundation of the Sikh Empire or Sikh State. He was so generous that he donated a lot of gold to the Harmandir Sahib, and after that, Harmandir Sahib came to be known as the Golden Temple. He was so generous that he built up the present day Hazur Sahib, Patna Sahib, and the Nankana Sahib. He donated lot of land to the these religious places. Great man who died in 1839 and is still remembered by the people. just a two days back it was his death anniversary and people still remember him as a sheriff and thank you very much